There are many exciting things planned for Grounded, and with community suggestions being considered, there will surely be even more surprises in the future. While the developers have not revealed everything that is planned, there are a few things that they have said are not currently planned for the game. In this video, I'm going to tell you seven things that are frequently asked for by the community, but are not currently planned for Grounded. Before we begin, I want to thank the Overseer91, Grey Knight, Baz Channel, and all my other channel members who help make videos like this possible. Let's get started. First up on our list is going to be allowing more than four players. This is one of the most frequently asked questions I see asked on the Discord, asked on social media, asked in the developer live streams. Will we be allowed to have more than four players in the yard? And I think the reason this is asked is probably there's two reasons. Number one is the little suitcase here that's in the beginning of the game. So this is right where you spawn. If you turn around and see the little case right here, you're going to notice there are five bodies in here. However, there are only four characters in the game. So that might lead people to believe there's going to be a fifth character. There's currently no plans for a fifth character. Also, of course, people would like to be able to play with more than three people. You might have four, five, six, seven, ten friends that play the game. You want to be able to play multiplayer with all of them. But unfortunately, right now, as far as we know, the developers have said there is no plans to have more than four players in the game. And I think the reason for that is probably, of course, because there's four characters specifically. So they probably either have to create new characters or you'd have two or three of one each character, which might be a little bit weird. But I don't think that's the main reason. I think the main reason is because the game, honestly, right now with a multiplayer, it doesn't perform that great for a lot of people. I've said this before. It's hit or miss. Some people have no issues with multiplayer. Other people have lots. Other people have lots of issues with multiplayer. I've never had successful successful attempts playing multiplayer. Whether if I'm the host, it's okay. But if I'm not the host, it's not okay. When I was the host and I was playing with my kids, they both had issues, and that was only playing with two of them in the same house. Imagine having six, seven, eight, ten, fifteen people in this world, and I can't imagine the performance of the game will be that great. So I think there's like like I said, a multitude of reasons. I think that's probably on the higher end, but also the fact that there's four specific characters, each with their own voice lines, each with their own personalities and stuff like that, that I don't think. And I, as I said, there's no plans for right now to ever have more than four players. So you're going to have to enjoy the game either by yourself or with up to three friends for now. Maybe that changes in the future. Maybe there'll be mods or something later on that will allow. But for right now, the plans are only to have four characters, four people max in a multiplayer world. Second on our list is going to be, will we be able to tame other insects as pets? So currently, of course, we can tame the aphids, which you're going to see right here. And there might be a weevil that walks by. You guys are all probably, of course, familiar with this if you played the game before. Aphids and, we Aphids and weevils were the first two insects that were allowed to be tamed. And currently, they're the only two insects that are going to be able to be tamed. In the most recent dev developer live stream, someone asked this question, will we be able to tame other bugs or insects in the backyard? And the answer was there are currently no plans for that. I do believe there's plans to change some of the things with it. Like, for example, in the Into the Wood update, they gave us the ability to turn on and off whether or not the pets could die. So... I think there's going to be more enhancements to it. Maybe they'll be able to do stuff for. I don't know. I don't. I think what people really wanted was kind of the "Honey, I Shrunk the Kids" thing, where you can, t where you get a little red ant and it does stuff for you. Like you can ride on it places. It'll gather stuff for you, help fight for you. I think that's what people are expecting or maybe wanting with the pets. But for now, all we have is these little guys. So we have aphids and weevils. So that's what we have now. Like I said, they might make some tweaks to those, but right now there's no plans to let us tame any of the other insects, whether it be the ants all the way up to the bees. So like that, there's no plans on letting us have more than aphids and weevils as pets. Third on the list and going along with the pet thing and the taming is going to be, will there be mounts in the game? And the answer to that question was, unfortunately, no, there are no plans for mounts in the game. And I think what people wanted for mounts, of course, were prob possibly a bee because like in Honey, I Shrunk the Kids. So we see, is that a bee flying up there? And no, that's just a gnat. In Honey, I Shrunk the Kids, one of the kids ends up landing on, inadvertently landing on a bee and getting taken across the backyard. So I think people were hoping to be able to fly bees across the backyard, perhaps tame ladybugs and ride them. Or even like I said just a minute ago, perhaps taming red ants and being able to ride them or have them be your pet and do work for you. But as of right now, there's currently no plans for mounts. And if you saw one of my, one of my recent videos about small land, when, when that comes out with Grounded, small land is going to have mounts. So if you want to have mounts, you can head on over there and check that game out when it actually, when it actually comes out into early access. And you'll be able to have mounts in there. But right now, there's currently no plans for mounts inside of Grounded. Fourth on our list of things that people frequently ask for but are not currently planned for the game is going to be large creatures. So currently, there are two large creatures that are in the backyard. One is the crow that flies back and forth between the different perches. And the other, of course, is the koi fish, which is in the koi fish pond. The, bird, the crow does not have any interaction with you currently, although they have said that they might have future interactions with, with the crow. So perhaps maybe the crow will dip down and try to pick us up. But as of right now, all the crow does is fly back and forth and drop feathers. The koi fish in the end of the wood update was changed a little bit. So it's a little bit more aggressive now and it will come after you more frequently than it did in the past. However, 
other than it just trying to swallow you up or hit us with hit you with its tail it's not really you can't fight it you can't do any damage to it the first time i ran into it i thought that's how i got koi scale so i tried to hit it with one of my weapons that didn't go very well but i quickly learned that that was not going to be the case but as of right now there's no plans adding other large creatures i know people have asked for things like can we get a rat can we get a mouse can we get snakes can we get rabbits name name plenty of things that you possibly would see in your backyard although hopefully if you're in your backyard you won't see rats or stuff like that but those are things people ask for and i I mean, it's just logical. The reason those couldn't be in the game, specifically like the ones that will be predators like rats and stuff like that, how would you be able to fight a rat when we can barely fight a wolf spider and a rat would be probably, I don't know what, 50 times larger than it? If you've never seen, rats can be small, but typically rats can be large. They can be as large as like house cats. So imagine having to come up against a rat that's something like maybe like the size of like three of these wood logs. How would you possibly be able to fight that? It would just completely wreck you. This isn't an MMO. We're not going to have like phase raid battles here where you come in and you have to have like 50 people fighting it. We only have four players, like I said. So there's no shot we're going to be able to take out a large creature like that. So don't expect any new large creatures in the game. As of right now, there's no plans to add any other large creatures. So right now we got the koi fish and we got the crow. And that's what we're going to have as of now for the rest of the game. Next up on our list is, will we be able to go into, or can we please go into other yards? Now, of course, if you enter peeper mode here and you look around, you're going to see that we got a greenhouse back here. There's a fence over there with stuff on the other side of it. If you get up high and build around, you can see that off in the distance, there's lots of buildings that are just basically there. They're not actually buildings that you can go to. And as of right now, and this has been asked many times and answered many times, there is no plan to let us go into other backyards. It's already taken a year and a half to get where we are in this backyard. This huge backyard, they still got to finish the entire upper area here, and they're planning on finishing the game by the end of 2022. So we're talking about about two and a half years, two, two and a half years of development just to finish this backyard. So as of right now, there's no current plans to go into the other, other backyards. That's something I would say maybe would be perhaps added on after 1.0, maybe as a DLC, maybe they make a sequel to it where you go to another yard. Of course, we don't know what the story is right now. We have no idea when we finish the story. Are we going to get unshrunk? Is the story resolved where we get unshrunk, or how does it end? So... We may or may, there may or may not be a sequel to the game. There may or may not be DLCs. They have said they were going to add stuff after the updates. After the 1.0, they're going to continue developing stuff. And in one of my recent videos, I set, I shared the things that I thought would make sense for them to add, such as base raids, uh, things like the powered buildings and stuff like that, more cosmetic stuff for building, just things that you could just do after the fact. Those things are probably likely to come after 1.0, but I don't think we're, I don't, I, as of now, there's just no plans for us to go in other backyards. And while I would love to be able to do that, go in other yards, go in the front yard, stuff like that, there's just no plans for it. And honestly, if they did something like that, it would probably be a two to three or two to three year development process because they'd have to recreate something the size of this. So don't plan on going in other backyards in the current iteration of Grounded. Next up on our list is going to be, can we go in the shed? Now, here's the shed over here. You can see it. I'm not going to go up there because this is I'm, I haven't built up. I haven't got that far in this world yet. But here's the shed up here. Of course, this was added in the Into the Wood update or it was updated. And I had the expectation, and I know many of you had the expectation that they're adding the shed. We're going to be able to go in the shed. There was tons of terraforming under the shed. People thought we were going to be able to go in the shed. Unfortunately, this question was asked a couple times on recent live streams. And the answer was, there are no current plans to allow us to go into the shed. So what you see is what you get up here. I guess there's a possibility that they might put something under the shed. Maybe, but there's no not been any confirmation on that. They didn't really want to answer anything of that. But like in terms of actually going in the shed, because we all thought it would be cool to be able to go into the shed, have like shelves and stuff you could climb up. That shed area alone would be like almost it's not at the same size as the rest of the yard, but look how big the shed is. Look how tall it is. That would be a massive undertaking to populate that thing. Even if they just sparsely populated, it, it would take a ton of time and a ton of work. So right now there's currently no plans to go in the shed. We're just going to be able to go around the stuff on the outside of it and eventually to the stuff that's going to be added up here to the right of it over top of the, in front of this greenhouse. So there's like a, there's a fence right there. So there's going to be stuff to the right of the shed. And then of course up here by this fence, there's more stuff that needs to be updated. But right now there's no plans for us to be able to go into the shed. And last but not least, and this is one that I think is probably one of the more frequent questions I see get asked, and that is, will we be able to go into the house? Once again, the answer to that is going to be no, we're not going to be able to go into the house. So, of course, everybody kind of thought, again, we're going to follow the Honey, I Shrunk the Kids plot. We're going to es escape the backyard as being shrunk, and we're somehow going to get unshrunk by somebody. In this case, I guess Dr. Wendell get us unshrunk and go back into the house, and maybe that's how it resolves. Or maybe we get into the house as we're shrunk, and then we eventually get unshrunk. But currently, there are no plans for us to go in the house. In fact, I think I think it's, there's a possibility that they might, even, they might not even update anything up here. Like I said in one of my previous videos, there's a chance they're going to update the deck because I think there's still construction tape up there. So they might update this little deck out here. 
but there's just not going to be a way, a way for us to go into the house. And again, this will be similar to the other things I've already talked about. Going into another backyard, going to the shed. Look how big that house is. If they had to fully populate that house or even partially populate it, that would be a tremendous undertaking. And that's just not in the plans right now. So don't plan, don't expect to go into the house. Hopefully I didn't dash too many of your hopes here, but I just see these questions asked so frequently and so often by different people. I just wanted to co collect all the most common ones and answer those here. Because I know not everybody sees the developer live streams. Not everybody can keep up with their Discord. Not everybody can keep up with all the news that's going on for the game. So hopefully that answered most of your questions. If there's any other things you're wondering, are they coming, are they not coming, and you're not sure of it, let me know in the comments down below, and I'll try to answer them. I don't know everything, but I know I know as much as I can possibly know, and I do watch all their live streams. I do follow all their mo posts on social media and stuff like that. So if there's anything I didn't answer in this video, let me know down in the comments below. If you found this video interesting, please click the like button and consider subscribing for more videos like this. Thank you for watching and I'll see you in the next video.